Hey y'all, welcome to Horrible Gaming. My name is Nora and on today's video we are touring my finished Forgotten Lands. I am so excited to share this with y'all today. It has been a several month project as many of y'all know. I honestly feel like the Forgotten Lands is one of my top favorite biomes I've ever created so I'm so excited to share how all of this turned out and of course give y'all some Disney Dream My Valley inspiration. I really wanted this biome to be functional so I have a dedicated farming location and I left out several mining nodes to be able to obviously get those resources but overall this biome is really easy to navigate in and fully functional and even though this biome is completely decorated I do have several areas that are a little bit more empty so natural resources can obviously spawn in them so with all this being said you can have a really nicely decorated biome and still have it fully functional too now keep in mind a couple of my mining nodes are blocked off for design purposes but I did leave out a few of them so I could still get resources resources as needed. I'm really stocked up on these resources in the Forgotten Lands, but if you are somebody who is not, I would recommend making sure you have pathways to be able to access all the mining nodes in this biome. Anyways, I know what you're probably thinking. Why am I sharing this now? Because we're well past Halloween. And honestly, I just wasn't inspired and didn't have enough resources to finish it during October. And also with the recent DLC, we were given a lot of great items. The ancient items look so good in the Forgotten Lands, especially if you're going a more abandoned, spooky look with it. So I just really think it suits the biome nicely and that honestly inspired me to get this finished. We also recently just got Jack and I'm really glad that I waited so I could be able to give him a really nice home that is obviously pumpkin themed. So that also was kind of the motivation on getting this done. I basically want my Forgotten Lands to remain in a Halloween kind of aesthetic because this is my favorite season and I just think it suits the Forgotten Lands really well too. Now over by Jack's home I did add a small little graveyard location and I just think that doing a small little graveyard was the perfect filler right next to his home. I also made it so you can transition on both sides of it. We have a transition in front of Fairy Godmother's home and we also have this nice little transition next to Goofy's stall which we'll see better when we go through the tour some more but I just tried my best to keep everything really decorated and also functional. I kept Fairy Godmother's pretty simple over here because I wanted resources to be able to spawn and also to be able to fish in that pond. I may eventually move her over to my forest but she was the great filler for this build today and also I really liked that she complimented Jack's home too especially since we're going for a Halloween sort of vibe up here. Anyways once we leave the graveyard we're heading towards the Sunlight Plateau and this is a better look at Goofy's stall. I really wanted it to be simple and obviously functional so I did a cute little setup with pumpkin clutter and also a little sitting spot near it and then once you leave Goofy's stall we are are headed towards the front of my spooky castle. So originally by my castle, I had Goofy stall over here, but we ended up relocating it next to my graveyard. I just felt like it was a better spot and I could do some really cute decor around it. A lot of the pumpkin clutter that you are seeing, I got from doing the Halloween village task. And I also got some from the star path in the last holiday season. This castle, we actually did a speed build on. So if you're interested in following it step by step, I will have it linked in the video's description. Everything else though in my Forgotten Lands, I kind of just designed on my own, especially since we're well past Halloween. I didn't think a lot of people would be interested in the build process for something Halloween related because obviously the holiday seasons have passed. Eventually, I do plan to flatten my Forgotten Lands and do something more spooky generic, not so Halloween related. So when it comes time to actually tackle this later in the year, I will definitely be documenting the whole entire build process on video videos and streams, but for now, I'm definitely going to be enjoying that my Forgotten Lands is finally finished. This honestly was one of the hardest biomes I've decorated in quite some time on Disney Dream My Valley, and many of you will understand this kind of struggle, but not being able to relocate that dang tree house just made planning out the layout in this biome really difficult. I honestly hope in a future update that they'll give us permission to be able to relocate the tree house. That way I can make my perfect layout for the biome. But since we can't relocate it, I do feel like I've made a pretty functional layout and I do like that it's easy to navigate in. So hopefully 
hopefully this gives you some inspiration if you're in a similar predicament and you don't know how to work around the treehouse. Hopefully this will kind of help inspire you to get your Forgotten Lands finally finished. Anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this tour today. Let me know your favorite spot in the comment section below. Before this video also ends, I do want to give a huge shout out to all of my channel members. Thank you so much for supporting me as a creator. Just your support in general means the world to me. Thank you so much for watching and have a horrible day. I'll see you next video. Thank mm -hmm. you.